Hello, my name is Kevin Holland. I'm a clinical imaging specialist with GE Healthcare. And I am Allison Cook. This video will review general usage of the OEC-1 CFDC arm. Case support start to finish. Plug in the system. Notice it has a 20 amp plug. Power on the system by holding down the silver button until it blinks green. Move the system into case start position and lock the brake. Move the monitor arm to access the screen to enter patient information. To manually enter patient information, utilize the virtual keyboard. If the keyboard does not appear, touch the field that you would like to enter the information in. Type in the patient information in the open fields. Touching a gray area will make the keyboard disappear. Press the exit button once complete. To access a work list, Press the Scheduled button. Select the desired patient. If not seen, utilize the Quick Query button to refresh. Select OK. Move the monitor back to optimal viewing position. Move the touch control panel for access during the case. Acquire first image by utilizing either the hand switch or the foot switch. Live images will always appear on the left side of the monitor. Use the swap button to push over to the right side and create a reference image. Use the save button to save images into the image directory. Save and swap features are also located on the touch control panel. Once the case is complete, access the image directory. To send images to a USB, plug in the USB. Select Option to decide which file types should be sent. Select OK when configured. Select Desired Images. Select Export to Send. If the system is configured with a PAX, DICOM, or other archival system, select the Storage tab. The configured location will appear under the Send To area. Make sure the desired images are selected and select Send. The case dose summary is also able to be sent. The dose summary is located above the images on the left-hand side. To view, select Dose Summary. To send, check the box for selection. Either export or send depending on location. If a printer is configured with the system, select the image you desire to be printed and select Local Print. To delete an image, select the image and select Delete. A confirmation message will pop up. Deleted images cannot be recovered. Please select Yes. Exit when all actions are complete. To get the system ready for transport, move the monitor back into its protected storage position. Unlock the brake and slowly move away from the procedure area. The OEC-1 CFD is configured with a standby timer. This can be accessed by pulling the power from the system. A warning will pop up on the OEC touch control panel, stating that the system can stay on standby power for up to five minutes. This will allow you to move the system from different locations without powering down. To power down the system, hold down the power button and it will begin to blink green. The OEC-1 CFD has many additional features. Incoming circuit breaker, foot switch socket, power indicator, and key switch. Cord storage, foot switch, hand switch, skin spacer, emergency shutoff switch. To engage, press down. To release, twist clockwise. Please see the operator's manual for full description of all features. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos on CR tips for rat tech.